Hey, what's going on? Thanks for joining today on Little Improvements. What do we got going on today? Uh, let's see, mommy, 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 wife. Wife was out with the daughter at a mommy and me class this morning. And I was putting some things away in uh, the small child's closet here and noticed that the doors weren't sliding and gliding like they used to. They were kind of grinding, not sliding. So I did a couple things to improve the slot. I wanted to just show you before you got, uh, you know, all worked up and ran on down to the local hardware store asking uh, for a new door or something. Um, pretty simple things, just gonna need a screwdriver. And yeah, that should be about it. Maybe something else. But uh, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so the first thing that we're gonna do is just recognize that these doors were on a track system here. Um, oftentimes these doors, uh, they have a little wheel on the other side, which I'll show you. Um, they can get off track. So the first thing you really wanna do is make sure that your wheel and your door is on track, both of them, on both sides of the door. And uh, that's probably a good step at first, just to make sure that you know the door's working, or at least on, on the track, how it's intended to. So I can see just like right here, you can see there's like some discolor. So the paint has been scraped off and that's probably because this door has been a little low. Kind of the wheel has been up into the door here so high that there's been things scraping on here that are, you know, things like toys or whatever can get put on here or really whatever. And as the door opens, you know, it's pushing and sliding it. But I, I would imagine that this, um, the door had been scraping a little bit, so it wasn't really gliding very well. So that's the first thing we're going to do, just make sure that the wheel is on track. Um, these, my doors are really light, um, and I can, I can do that pretty easily. Make sure that the wheel is on track. And then the next thing we're going to do is make sure that the wheel height is proper and it's allowing this thing to glide well. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. All right, here. All right, so we can see here that this door runs on a wheel and the wheel sits in the track. And we can see that we can adjust the wheel with a screwdriver adjusting this bolt here. And as I tighten it or turn it right, it pushes the wheel down and lifts the door up enough to clear any grinding or anything here. So if your door is not sliding well, first thing you wanna do is make sure the wheel's on the track. The next thing you wanna do is you can get in here with the screwdriver and tighten up tighten this up and what it does is it pushes that wheel down and when it pushes the wheel down that door is gonna slide like butter I guess another thing you could do is put a little like WD-40 or something on here just a little bit kind of run a you know spray it on a paper towel or something and get it down in here and that would allow this to kind of have even less friction and resistance or you could I guess spray a little in a wheel in here uh, if your door is kind of real old and you know not functioning very well so all right well there you have it guys we made some improvements to the sliding door here in the closet um, I'm a big believer in just kind of improving taking 10-15 minutes if you can to improve um, you know the quality of something that's functioning in your house and uh, maybe reduce some frustration that you have fighting this door or uh, fighting a sink or, or something that's, uh, you know, giving you fits. So I hope uh, you guys enjoyed the content. If uh, you want to hang out and see some more stuff, feel free to subscribe and uh, join the Little Improvements YouTube channel. Thanks, guys. Bye.